Alrighty, it's your boy Zyuxus and we are back with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about team building when it comes to Arena because obviously a lot of people and a lot of people and a lot of people have asked me about this one actually. Um, but the thing about uh, Arena team building is kind of different. It's actually a lot different than your general progression, story, bosses, team build that you've been using a lot, right? A lot of the other characters that you normally don't use outside of, obviously, Arena are going to be better in Arena, obviously, right? So, I want to say, first off, when building a team, I can't tell you guys what characters to run on your team, right? I can tell you there's characters who are very good for Arena, like Jackal, Emma, Noise, very good characters uh, for Arena. Noah is a top tier character for Arena as well, right? Senti. Those are characters who are going to be good for Arena, right? But I can't tell you guys what characters to slap on your team. So just kind of take on what I'm telling you guys and then basically just apply it to whatever characters you have. So first things first, in Arena, defenders and healers are above everything else, right? You would believe you would think that dps is still run arena right and obviously you need to have at least one dps on your team right at least you need to have at least one dps on your team for arena but at the end of the day defenders and healers run the game in a, when it comes to arena reason being is because you're fighting regular nikkeis and not actual enemies and stuff like that so they're going to be hitting you at an average damage pace right if you guys are even in power you guys are going to be getting hit and healing for average average damage basically depending on if you guys are the same power or whatever power you are, right? So keep that in mind. Now, there's a lot of Nikkeis who literally make PvP or Arena a joke. Like I said before, Jackal, her second skill is a character uh, is a skill that basically for herself and two other allies, which is three out of five of the characters on your team, get shared damage taken, which means you're basically not going to take any damage, and then increase their defense by a bit. It's not that crazy for the defense part, but to have your shared damage taken for the whole game basically is pretty nasty. And then her first skill is when, you, you know, she's attacked, or I guess when she's attacked ten times, um, whoever that enemy is with the highest max hp will have their damage taken increase so we will do more damage to them and then their attack will be lowered by 10 uh by a certain percentage for 10 seconds so jackal is basically a character that makes a lot of characters do no damage very very good so like i said when it comes to this you're gonna want to have to have uh healers defenders and stuff like that now you also want to consider something like burst generation right burst gauge generation right because in arena Basically, how you win is whoever can get their burst gauge off first. I don't want to say first, right? But getting off your burst gauge, getting a full burst basically does give you a more of an advantage than not getting it off, right? So you want to have something like burst generation off. I think rock, rocket launchers can get you those burst generations. Like this team has four rocket launchers, right? We will get our burst generate. Like we will be going like that, right? I believe shotguns also have massive burst generations. Uh, let me just confirm real quick. Yeah, so from what I'm reading here, rocket launchers and shotguns um, are the characters who have the best burst generation in the game. Definitely comment down below if that's correct or not. I'm just going off of one source. Um, but yeah, basically you want to also have burst gauge generation regardless, right? Because you want to be able to get your full burst. So how my teams are, for example, I can show, I, I can show you the teams that I just slapped up together here real quick. So this is a team I just slapped before the video. Basically, the point of this team is Jackal and Senti are defenders, right? Like I said, I don't know if I said it, but you want to have your defenders on either the far right or the far left, um, or both if you can, because those slots are mainly getting attacked, right? The far left and the far right of your team is mainly getting attacked. That is how it works, um, right? But with this team, it's a Jackal, Senti. It's basically stalling until you get your, like a stall and then nuke comp, right? Essentially with Senti, Jackal, and Biscuit, we're going to be stalling, um, we're going to be stalling out the enemies, and then we basically just do burst damage with Haran, right? I don't even need to have a healer on this team because we're not going to die, so I'm actually going to do this. Switch this out, put Litter here, and then I'm going to put Rapunzel on this team. So we have two healers, because my last team here is kind of a mess, right? Our main DPS is here are who? Literally just Helm and Laplace. Not really. Like, this team right here is not really that crazy for me. So, I'm going to have to rework on it. Um, this team is basically 
say like a hand me down of the first team of stall until you get your burst gauge. Um, not sure how well this is gonna work out either. Again, these are teams I just slapped together. Like I actually have to sit down and think about it because I have again I'm only missing seven summonable characters. So in terms of options, I have everything basically. Let's say I have ninety six percent of uh like teams that I can run team comps. I just have to sit down and think about it, right? So I'll do that after this video. But we're gonna go up against somebody because I've done one run already, unfortunately. I wish I could have done two. But we're gonna go up against this person here, right? Let's take a look at their team to see uh, how other people are running it. So this team is more of just like a general DPS team, right? This has your healer, you have DPS, a supporter, and then obviously a defender. This team is more of a like a stall, like three healers basically. I mean, Diesel is a defender, but when she uses her burst skill, I believe like every damage she takes just gets converted into heal or something like that. So essentially, she's a healer for herself. But a team like this has, I want to say, no real damage, just really healers. So it's kind of like a stall fest. And then you gotta remember, someone like Privity is someone who can stun. Privity can stun enemies, right? And then this team is just a general DPS heal dps stall team i want to say um stall until you get burst team it's basically the same thing as my first team we're gonna see how well we work here i, I don't know if we're gonna win or lose here but like i said my teams i actually have to sit down and think about it because i'm not really all that happy with my last and second team my first team i'm fine with it but my uh, second and third team i'm not really that great with it but essentially yeah right defenders and healers are mainly what you want to you know focus on when it comes to arena you definitely want to have like i said at least one dps on every of your teams because you need some type of dps um but let's see how these teams work against like just somebody right so here as you guys can see we're stalling and then when senti gets below thing boom and then we nuke quit basically um around there right so yeah they're gonna go for senti or jackal and then by the time Senti or Jackal gets to 50%, they're going to have invincibility because of Biscuit. We have the heals from Biscuit too. I'm not sure how well this team is going to work, right? Um, as you can see, come on. Yeah, nice. And then boom. Um, so now we're kind of just like taking them out, right? So yeah, we got the stun. We got stun from Privity there, which wasn't good. But yeah, it's kind of like a stall until you get your burst team here as well. A hand me down of the first team. That's why that one worked well here. I'd be surprised if we win this one, right? Because they're going for Noah here. We have good burst generation, right? We have our healers. Boom. Boom. And now we can't take damage anyways with Thing. Um, I'm still not 100% sure if we're going to win this match, right? Because Jackal is dead. Um, or not Jackal. Noah is dead. My bad. We do have our healers still, right? It's but their DPSs are better than ours. We have They have Modernia and Huron on top of Jackal, while we have Laplace and Helm, which is two healers that are just not going to cut in enough, I feel like. Right? Oh, actually, hold on. We might come back. We might come back because of the heals, right? Because of the heals, constant healing. Oh, my God. We turned it around because of constant heals. So, yeah, you guys see there. Heals and defend. Like, that team was a team that guaranteed out, that, like, does more damage than us, right? Not to mention they had Jackal, too. They had Jackal, too. So, Jackal, Haran, and Modernia guaranteed on that team were all having shared damage, right? Um, but because we just kept healing with R Rapunzel and with the, uh, what's her name, Noise, obviously, you guys can see we took the W there, right? So it's kind of a stall fest when it comes to Arena, I want to say. It's kind of a stall until you get your burst. Um, and in order to stall, you're going to need defenders and healers, essentially. That's basically how Arena teams work. Right, it's kind of a stall fest until you get your burst gauge, and like I said just a second ago, defenders and healers are what you're gonna need to get that. Right, again, obviously things like burst generation has to come into play, and then obviously DPS. Right, uh, my one team, this team for example, really only Laplace was our DPS there, but obviously because we had two healers like Noise and Rapunzel, they kind of acted as defenders by just constantly healing us, basically. Not to mention, uh, I mean, we're never going to get her burst skill because she's not in the first slot, but Helm could also heal. It's not going to ever happen, but she can also heal, right? So simple teams like this work all the time, um, right? Obviously, there's no, like... I can't tell you guys what characters to run because I don't know what characters you have. But kind of just take those little points and advices and then apply it to your arena team, right? 
So you guys let me know if you agree with me or not, right? Uh, obviously, I still want to do a lot more testing in Arena, right? A lot and a lot and a lot of more testing in Arena before I can fully do an Arena tier list. But you guys definitely let me know if um, how you guys build your teams, especially you Wills and Endgame players. How do you guys build your team? If I was spot on, if I was wrong. And then make sure viewers, regular viewers need more information. Check the comments because I'm not the only person that plays this game, right? There's a lot of people who have more knowledge better than me and all that stuff right so the comments can definitely help you guys as well like you guys have been doing for every other video so make sure you guys subscribe and like if this was helpful in any type of way but uh yeah it's your boys the i'll see you guys next one i'm out later peace